What's up everybody? Live for your camp train. This is Dustin and these are the woods I'm going to be doing my first solo urban stealth camp in right behind me tonight when I get off of work. I have to film this ahead of time because I am not going to be getting off of work before the sun goes down. So uh, this is going to be the only chance you're actually going to be able to see it and I apologize for a dark video but I have to work with what I got. This property has some houses around it, a big empty field behind it, and a whole trailer park on this side of it. And to make things better, all I'm using for gear tonight is a plastic bag to throw on the ground and use as a bivy. Add to the challenge. So, wish me luck, y'all. Gotta get moving in about 45 minutes. Camera's doing its not focus thing again. Wonderful. Alright, so this is my game plan for tonight. I want to stay in this patch of woods here. I have houses over here. A pasture out here. More woods all over this side. This is like an empty field with power lines coming through it. A street here. More woods over here. Houses. Houses. Yeah, so it looks like overall I'm pretty well protected, except for a few angles that could happen. So my goal is to get somewhere around here and put up two walls blocking any light, or maybe even a third. That way the only visible pathway is through the pasture, where it's too far for anyone else to be able to see me out there. I also have this whole trailer park behind me where I'll be, so I'll have to be kind of quiet. But at least I have this uh, dirt road and this overgrowth giving a pretty uh, pretty good barrier there. But I do apologize ahead of time. I'm probably going to be a little bit quiet, and it's definitely going to be a dark video. Um, depending on how comfortable I feel once I get out there and get those wells set up. So I have to take my keys with me this time because I have to walk back early in the morning and I don't want to lose them or risk losing them for you know any reason I might have to up and leave so I just zip tied them to my belt loop put in my pocket now no matter what I can't lose them yeah my gear setup is not stealthy at all but I never once claimed to be a professional Departure in like 15 minutes. Excited, but definitely nervous. It's gonna be fun though. Alright. I leave in two minutes. I'm all packed up, geared up, and not stealthy at all. Um, really nervous. Let's see how this goes. Made it into the woods. My heart is racing. <sighs> so nervous right now. I definitely need to get farther back. But I underestimated just how loud it was going to be to get in here. Alright. I have tucked farther back into the woods. Behind some palmettos I plan to use for some cover. Um, definitely a little still nervous. Way more exposed than I thought I was. There's definitely some shit creeping around in the woods around me. Um, there's all kinds of stray cats in this area. I'm hoping that's what it is, but even cats are pretty terrifying sometimes. Have you ever seen one attack? <sighs> on today's episode of Dustin sits on a chair in the middle of the woods terrified, we have me.
still sitting in the pitch black darkness. Trying to get the courage to set up a uh, shelter here so I can have a light on and get to living out the rest of the night. It's just still kind of early. I know people are out here doing their thing, but I'm trying to be out here doing my thing too, you feel me? All right, I feel pretty safe. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a wall set up um, so I can have a candle lit or something. Make me feel a little bit better about the animals. But I know you can't see them, but there's houses way out there. That's what those little specks of lights are. That's what I'm the most worried about. If anyone had seen me come in here, it would be through that way. I'm not too worried about the trailer park to my right. They're far enough away. Um, there's two trees slightly here to my to my side. They're about four and a half, maybe five foot apart. I'm gonna run my rope in between, lay a blanket over that, or in this case, a, uh, a brown shower curtain that I was able to acquire. Hang it up and uh, get this night going. I know, I know, you can't see anything, but if it makes you feel any better, neither can I. Okay. You know, I'm pretty confident by this point, it's been like 15 minutes or so, that um, no one saw me come in here. No one's gonna check on me. I don't really feel like people are gonna be my issues tonight. Um, well, as long as I keep a, a good low profile, that is. But it's like everything I do out here, this sounds like it's just me lifting it straight up. It's thick back here. It makes a lot of noise. Okay, this is my lighting situation for now. hanging from a tree and another one kind of just making a three walls around me even just having that little candle is making me a little nervous right now so uh, I'm gonna poke my head around and see how much light is shining through the tarp I just poked my head around the corner so far so good uh, definitely a little nervous does it still count as camping if you don't sleep I gotta stay out here to at least 4.30 in the morning for me to count as uh, camping. All right, I'm about to give you all a super, super quick peek of my absolutely horrible setup I got going on. You all ready? I'll show you all my sleeping arrangements later. Okay, I have repositioned myself where my back is up against my tarp. And I'm facing out towards the less dangerous side with the candle fire, my campfire for the night, my light source for the night. It's in the middle. Flame makes me feel a little bit more comfortable against animals, so. The whole ground is just one layer of vines. Um, I guess I'll be literally sleeping in a bed of thorns tonight. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Um, not a bad first solo stealth camp in an urban envir environment. It's definitely a lot riskier than a lot of other camps have done. I mean, I've done some really risky ones, but this is, I don't know, maybe because I'm alone, it's different or something. When about 1 a.m. hits, I'm probably going to dig a little hole with a spoon, put a couple uh, pieces of coal down in there, and have a tiny little fire when most people will be asleep. I don't know why there's a square in front of my face. I don't know if it's a shadow. I ain't got much options, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. And I'll have a little bit of fire. I brought some soup. I'll cook over it. It'll be a nice little meal. I got my old red light busted out. So I can see what I'm doing and whatnot. I guess you still can't see what I'm doing, but I can. You know, the city is really quiet down. The woods have really quieted down. Temperature's perfect. I mean, you really can't ask for much more better than this, man. This is fun, man. This is good. Therapeutic. Well, welcome to camping trip number five out of 52 camping trips in Operation 52. 
Tonight I am doing my first solo stealth camp in a small patch of very urban, very exposed woods. I have a wall made out of dark colored blankets around me and a plastic bag that I'm going to be using as a bivy tonight. This I'm sure you saw in the title, Plastic Bag Stealth Camping. Here it is. The full moon keeps breaking out over there. It's lighting up areas of the woods just enough that I can see. Honestly, pretty good without my light. So I can uh, save battery and uh, help keep stealth up a little bit. stand up, stretch my legs, do a little bit of a look around. I'm sorry that my nighttime filming equipment isn't the best. I uh, film, edit, everything right off my phone. I don't really have any good equipment right now. I'm working my way to it, so um, I'm sorry I'm doing the best I can. Well, if you've made it this far, watching my dumbass sit in the darkness out here, um, just uh, go ahead and uh, give the video a like and a subscribe. The weather's absolutely perfect. There's no mosquitoes. Um, Nice chill. It's supposed to be like 47, 48 tonight. It's going to be wonderful. Um, I'm sorry, really, that there's not much to, more to record. I'm going to have to leave out of here before the sun comes back up, too, so... You're not going to really see it much, unfortunately. But, I mean, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you watching. I'll uh, try to spice things up a little bit here when I go to cook my, uh, cook my soup. I've been out here for about two hours. It's like 11 o'clock now. But I don't really want to start a little fire until like 1, 1 o'clock probably. I feel like most people will be asleep by then. So for now I'm just going to sit back, watch some YouTube or something. Some Steve Wallace or Sam Bananas, Small Plots of Kevin. You know, all my favorite YouTubers out there. And uh, just enjoy this beautiful weather and enjoy this camp. Enjoy the things that I have. Just to be on the safe side, I do have some protection with me. It's a can of uh, pepper spray, a rather large one. Tonight for dinner is a can of Campbell's Chunky Savory Pot Roast. Let's try it out.
my soup's definitely gonna take forever cooking like that. I'm hearing all kinds of sounds around me, and I'm pretty sure it's raccoons. Of course, they would want to come, as soon as I'm trying to cook my soup. I managed to get it to balance on top of the coals, which is nice. So uh, hopefully I'll actually start cooking now. I got another little trick up my sleeve to help keep me warm tonight. My Milwaukee M12 heated hoodie. I'm going to turn that bad boy on. Well, it's not the most stealthy thing with this uh, massive glowing light on my chest. White for medium, blue, red. I'm gonna put it on low, just blue. But I'm putting my other jacket on above this jacket so that blue light ain't shining and flashing everywhere. My soup here has been cooking for about an hour, and it's like now room temperature. My backpacking cook stove is up in Massachusetts with all of my cool military style camping gear. And my other stove that I had, well, it blew off the roof of my other car when it was on the roof rack. And I lost it on the highway somewhere in Floral City, Florida. So yeah, that's why I'm cooking on top of four lumps of coal by a candle right now. Alright, so this soup is still cold it's like a pathetic excuse for warm but i'm gonna still eat it because it's like 1 a.m and i'm starting to get tired okay it's about 2 a.m and i am going to pack everything up that way I can make a quick getaway in the morning and sit at my bed. I will be setting my alarm for 4.30 because I want to get out of here well before people start moving and get back to the house. Hence the name of the video, Plastic Bag Stealth Camping. This is my setup. Blankets, small pillow, inside a big ass plastic bag. Oh, my lamp just died. Great. Guess that means I should go to bed. Alright. I'm all wrapped up in my uh, plastic bag bivy. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of sleep before I start making my walk back home. attempt to get some sleep. Let's see. tried sleeping for a little bit, and just kind of kept my eyes closed for a little bit, I'd hear something, eyes open again, you know, it was comfortable, don't get me wrong, I was warm, I felt pretty safe, secure, location, and all that, but I just couldn't get no sleep, first time, you know, doing this, so, nerves and shit, I'm gonna pack up the bedding and whatnot, chill out for a couple seconds, then head on back because it's almost time. You know, it was kind of sketchy at first. Um, coming out here and not knowing these woods and haven't really been inside of them before. Um, 
coming in at night, making all the mistakes, you know, you're not supposed to do, being loud and shit. But, it wound up being really nice, like, good sleep for what I did get, perfect weather, no bugs, um, no disturbances, it's peaceful, and if you didn't see, like, the people and the lights all around us right now, like, this little tiny little patch of woods I'm in is, it's real pretty, you know? It's a nice little patch of woods. I don't think I'm gonna camp here again, though. It's a little, a little too risky for me, but, uh, I'm glad I got this experience. I just wish I could have filmed it a little bit better for y'all and myself in the future. But, gotta work with what I got. And remember, live free or camp trying. Putting out the candle for the last time. Alright, well, not like you can see anyway, but I am all packed up and ready to go. It's about 4 a.m. And by the time I get home, it'll be about 4.30. I literally just took one step. back to my house. It's been a real fun one. Oh, light died again. Uh, yeah, man. Number five. Live for your camp trying. Five out of 52. Y'all already know it. I'll see y'all at the next one, number six.